beautiful day it is outside. <sighs> beautiful weather to plant some seeds. Alright, let's get planting. Don't forget to water your plants. Can't wait for these plants to grow into a big sunflower. Oh, wait, look at that. My seeds attracted a sparrow mint. Tweet, tweet. I like eating seeds. Seeds taste good. Seeds are nice. Ah, this is a really relaxing game. I don't know what that game's doing over there, but it's kind of scary. Ree, I'm getting attacked. I must attack her. Hello, everyone. This is the Lord of Games, and today, I'm reviewing another Rare Replay episode. And this is actually a really good game, one of my favorites. And, uh, and this game was made by Rare. And uh, yeah, um, this game is called Viva Pinata. And this game is one of my favorite games I've ever played. In my opinion, in my opinion, I like this game more than uh, Animal Crossing New Horizon. Okay, it looks like we gotta name a garden. Just garden. Enter garden or garden options. Okay, enter garden. Okay. So, if you're not familiar with this game... Oh. If they like what they see, these piñatas may even move in. You'll also be able to name your new friend. As your piñata collection grows, you can choose which to collect and which to train. Thank you, narrator. Piñata Island is never all daisies and apple trees. When illness or danger threatens, you'll need to be the one who comes to the rescue. This is your world to explore and ultimately transform into whatever you want. So feel free to change anything, everything, if only to see what happens. The world of Viva Pinata is a living, breathing place full of opportunities and unforgettable characters. All right, I didn't even need to explain it. Thank you, narrator. Okay. So this is the beginning of the Viva Piñata video. So far, we meet the character, our main character, which is crying. Oh, hello. Okay. I was hoping someone would come and help me tidy up this mess. You must be the new owner. I'm Lee Foss. And I'm here to help you. Alright, so here's our guide, Lee Foss. And, um, she's apparently a witch. And, uh, now we got a journal. With this journal. Okay, so with this journal, um, we can learn everything 
like, shush. We can learn everything. Like, um, pinata. Okay. Um, so basically, you're a gardener attracting, um, animal pinatas. Oh, great, now I'm gonna get my first shovel. Okay, I got a shovel now. Okay, finally, we're free. So first, we grab the shovel. Shush! Now, we basically press and hold A for the beginning to turn um, this into dirt. Now, it would get better later. Ooh, why look at that. Since we now have dirt in our garden, we attracted a worm. Now, the reason why it's not called a worm is because, um, they're, all the animals are pinatas, and they all have candy puns in all of their names. Almost all their names. And this is gonna take a while. Now, here's a little trick for the uh, beginning. When you're slapping the ground, go up... Yeah, walk up to this thing, and you'll immediately start whacking it. Oh. But don't whack your NPCs, like Leafos and the others. Because if you do, they will get mad. And they will do, um... Uh, things to your garden and to you. Um... At one point, one of my friends were playing this game. And uh, they had no idea what to do, so they started immediately whacking Leafos. And um, Leafos took away their shovel. Okay, looks like that worm, the worm, uh, looks like he's here. Oh, great, now we got grass. Okay, so there's the worm, and uh, yeah, so far uh, it likes dirt, so we gotta give it more dirt land, and I'm surprised that didn't hit him. Gonna speed it up. Okay, now let's check the information of, of, about the world. Okay. Looks like uh, it likes grass, so we're gonna have to plant some grass. You planted grass? Grass! <laughs> Ooh! What did we attract? Ooh, we attract a serpent, which is basically a snake. Now, just letting you know, th that's gonna happen a lot. Oh, why, look at that! The worm is now a part of my garden. Oh, you can't even see, hold on. There we go. It was black and white, and now it changed into different colors. Now, uh, how this game works is black and white pinatas means that you haven't gotten them yet. But if they're colorful, that means you've gotten them. And now they will be a part of your garden. Alright, now I just gotta plant the grass everywhere. Okay, Worm 1. Let's give him a name. Um, just Worm. Ooh, uh oh. We got a Sparrowman. Now, the uh, Sparrowman is obviously a bird. Oh, ooh, a donut, which is also a deer. All right.
Okay, we got two worms. Oh, look. Aw, I can't go outside. Later, uh, your garden will upgrade the more you play. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, Willy! Now, uh, what Willy does is uh, he's basically the builder, and you are allowed to get buildings. This one's for free. Now, here's a little trick. Press and hold X, and you'll turn it, like, the side, sidewards. Okay. So now, we put a building there for Willy. Ooh, there's the serpent, the snake. Ooh, the experiment visitor. Now, what do birds like to eat? They like to eat worms. So, we can give away worm too to the experiment. Come on. Come on. No, get the worm. Where are you going? Get the worm. Come back. Get the worm. All right, there we go. They do that a lot and it gets so annoying. Hey, look, a donut. Okay, now... Willy should be building it in eight seconds. Wow. Okay. So Willy's done now. Alright, and now when he places the sticker, that means he's done. So you take the shovel and just slap it. And then... We got a worm house. Now, the two now, um, the Hold on. This okay. Now, worm one and worm two is in love. So now they are both happy together. And we do this little game. Welcome to the romancing minigame. Mini and you basically uh, get these, these little coins or just go straight towards them. And then you win without getting hit. Like five times. Now you've completed the game. Alright, now there's this lady, which, uh, she delivers the eggs, so apparently, um, that's where, um, eggs come from, apparently. I didn't know worms laid eggs. And it's basically the same thing for every animal. Even deers lay eggs, apparently. Alright, here she comes. Any minute now. Oh, uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. What? She didn't. The bird didn't eat the worm. Anyway, um, anyway, um, now the egg is delivered, so now we place it down right here, and we let it hatch. It would take a while, just letting you know. Oh! Okay. And now we got worm three. <sighs> so yeah. That's basically the whole game, and you constantly and constantly get bigger, better pinatas. The next game is Jetpack Refueled. So far, by the looks of it, it looks like just Jetpack, but remastered. That's it. 
here comes the next game, Viva Pinata 2, which is also known as Viva Pinata Troubles in Paradise. Let's play that. And look at all those pinatas. And look, you see that guy? That's the main villain of the entire game. So, Viva Pinata Troubles in Paradise. This game is basically the sequel. And, uh, yeah, that's it. But there's more pinatas and a few more places. Now, look at this garden that I have. Now, I've been playing this game for a long time because I like this game. It's fun. I've been doing a lot before this channel even started. So far, here's my rhino, which, yeah, I found, and a zebra. And yes, that is a two-headed snake. And, uh, there's a raccoon and a bunny. And an owl. And a chicken. And a bat. And an eagle. Yeah, I did a lot. And I enjoyed this game. Now, I just want to say one thing. Some of these pinatas are ridiculously rare. For an example, you see this zebra right here? Well, apparently... You want to know how I got this zebra? It doesn't even say how to get it, but I found a way to get it. So you see this horse, this horstachio? Well, apparently, if you feed a horstachio, one daisy and one blackberry, you get a zebra. A horse turning into a zebra. Then there's Hooty Fruity. I like this pinata. And it is so hard for me to get it. Apparently, you're supposed to have two houses. One for the mouse and one for the bat. And, uh, yeah, that's how I got the owl. The only worst part was it trying to get in the garden. It was so hard. Here's also a hog hurt. You want to know how I got it? I fed a pig cheese. Now remember Willy? He's in this game too. And uh, there is basically a, a shop area in the village. There is like cost a lot store and um, the builder, Bart, which is literally the witch doctor. And here's my favorite one, the hunter. She catches pinatas for you. So, yeah, it bas basically, uh, she's only allowed to catch pinatas that you've seen before. So, let's see, uh, what pinata do I want? Um, how about a hedgehog? Alright, this might take a while, and it would get the hedgehog. At the beginning, you get these uh, pinatas that are evil, and they're called sours. Now, the sour pinatas do something to destroy your garden. The first one is a snail. And what the snail does, it eats your seeds. And it can get worse. Like, first, one can eat your seeds. And there's, like, others that can destroy your stuff in your garden. Uh oh, Pinata's getting hunted. Now, Pinatas can get hunted in this game. And you either get a Pinata, or 
on. You either get a pinata, a new one, or um, you could just whack it away, like this box. I don't want him here. I had him so many times. So I'll whack him once, and he should be leaving. Hey, look! The hunter got the pinata for me. This hedgehog. So yeah, this is the hedgehog, or should I say, fudge hog. So, I'm going to call this fudge hog. Alright, so, yeah, here's Viva Pinata. And, uh, yeah, oh, here's Cedos. What he does is he gives you free seeds. He just yeet. Free seed. Now, you can either plant it or just sell it. Usually I just sell stuff. Now you're probably wondering what that tower is. Well, that is the Tower of Sour. I think that's what it's called. And what it does is the ones that are glowing, it keeps those sour pinatas away from my garden. Like, at one point, there was this terrifying alligator that kept on going in my garden. There's the terrifying alligator. What he did was he scared away workers, so they wouldn't do their jobs. Now there was two ways to get him out. It's either buying one of the towers, which I didn't, or tame it. And I tamed it, and sometimes it's hard to tame stuff. Do I know what I used to tame this alligator? 16 squares of water and it had to eat one turtle and one penguin. And I like penguins and so do everyone else. And after that, the alligator turned into this. This little green alligator. So mostly the main goal of this game is to collect all of the pinatas. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Now there are other places to go to, like the ice biome. You can't build anything, but you can capture these different pinatas that you can find in the ice biome. Oh yeah, there's a sour. They have an ice biome, and they have a desert biome also. So yeah, oh yeah, there's a camel. And whatever this thing is, I don't even know what it is. And a scorpion. So yeah. Basically, you collect stuff. So, yeah. That's it for Viva Pinata. Uh, that is all for this video. And yes, you can plant stuff. Alright, so that is all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment, and subscribe. 
I realize I am now having a hundred views, but I only have 25 subscribers. So, yeah, subscribe. And uh, I shall see you in the next video. So, yeah. Bye-bye.